Outdoors Delmarva covers everything outdoors, including real hunting and fishing situations involving wildlife. Now we do our best each week to bring you tasteful content, but viewer discretion is advised. Now, enjoy the show. You're watching Outdoors Delmarva presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. This week, we hang out with the Good Old Boys Foundation in Dagsboro. We'll swing back down to Salisbury to officially meet the Sons of Bow Hunters organization. No need to get knotted up, as Scorchy Taws takes us up Route 13 to meet a Felton rope maker. And while we're in Kent County, we'll look back at the DSN Outdoors Expo from the Delaware State Fairgrounds. Outdoors Del Marva starts right now. Welcome to Outdoors Del Marva, the show dedicated to a commitment of conservation and to the community that makes Del Marva's outdoors such a hidden gem here in the Mid-Atlantic. My name is Jason Lee, and look, even Batman needed a partner from time to time, which is why I'm happy to welcome Let's Go Del Marva's Lauren Hitch. Hold up, what makes you think you're Batman, boy blunder? This is Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. And now, here's Jason Lee. There are always so many great events happening across Delmarva that sometimes we have to enlist the help of someone. And this week, we enlisted the help of Let's Go Delmarva's Lauren Hitch. Back in March, we stopped by the Dagsboro Volunteer Fire Department for their ninth annual Pull and Pick and Peeling event, which benefits the Good Old Boy Foundation and the Fire Department. Pull and Pick and Peeling, it's been a great night. We had great weather, had some great food, Hawker's Barbecue, the team from Shaw came and cooked some phenomenal shrimp. Had a great crowd tonight, raised a lot of money for our community. The live auction, that's my favorite part. That's when really people come and they show off. Not, and it's not a personal show off, it's like look what we can do together for our community. Also, during the live auction, there were two Smith Island cakes sold. One for $10,000 and the other sold for $8,000 with all proceeds going to the family of Unbreakable Emerson, a young girl who had just had brain surgery. A four digit Delaware sea tag also sold for $8,000, just to name a few items. We started this nine years ago. The, actually, the Daxborough Fire Department reached out to us and wanted to do a combined fundraiser to help both of our causes, and it's been, it, was, it was a hit then, and it's just continued on every year. It gets a little bit better. I don't know how much was raised total yet, but I know there's a, little, there's a family with a little girl in the hospital tonight that we raised a lot of money for. It's going to help them out immensely, and that's really what both of us organizations would do. We like to get find these people that have fallen on hard times, have something unexpected come up, and bless them up, and that happened here tonight. Cold fit, you put that chair on your on your porch, hang that in your living room. So what you're buying here is that white chair down there, and this Tyler Wilkins made of this. So you go follow us on Facebook, Good Old Boy Foundation, or the Dagsboro Fire Department. We have a joined Facebook page as well, and we post all information on there about next year. It'll be in March, March of 2024. Tentatively, I think it's the 24th, but that's subject to change. We gotta make sure everything's good with our vendors. For more information about the Good Old Boy Foundation, you can check them out on Facebook. Hey, great job, Lauren. Will you stick around for the rest of the show? Of course. Excellent. Still to come, we'll meet a Felton rope maker in this week's Remembering Scorchy Taws. But up next, we introduce you to a veteran outreach group dedicated to keeping the sport of archery alive. Outdoors Del Marva returns right after these messages. You're watching Outdoors Del Marva presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Welcome back to Outdoors Del Marva. My name is Jason Lee, and joining me this week is the host of Let's Go Del Marva, Lauren Hitch. Lauren, so glad that you could join us. We're going to learn a little bit more about Let's Go Del Marva later in the show, if that's all right with you. Sounds good to me. Besides, we really have to go meet the folks with Sons of Bow Hunters right now. Sons of Bow Hunters is a uh, veterans outreach program and a hunting group. We, uh, it's a bunch of guys that kind of get together on public land and uh, we kind of started a veterans outreach program, 501c3, um, just to, uh, you know, 
give support to veterans, first responders, things like that. Um, our mission is to combat, you know, for this event, our mission is to combat suicide and, you know, bring awareness to the general public about the numbers of veteran suicide and first responder suicide. I started Sons of Bow Hunters in, in 2018 as just a hunting group, as a bunch of friends. Um, the 501c3 was started in 2022. We do a lot of things with um, the IBO, which is the International Bow Hunters Association. Um, we travel to different states and different clubs to uh, and set up our booth to get our word out there. What's going on tonight is the uh, Suicide Awareness Dinner for first responders and veterans. Um, we have Mr. Shea Waters here. Um, I'll, I'll bring him up in a few minutes. And, um, he's going to speak about his experience and and his uh, crisis prevention that the reason he got involved with us. It knows no boundaries. It happens everywhere, especially in our rural areas, especially where we live on the Delmarva Peninsula. Again, I just want to emphasize and encourage all of us to support organizations such as Sons of Bow Hunters or any other, like the Manitoba Outfitters. These organizations are here to support our veterans, our first responders, or anyone that's battling with depression, battling with PTSD. And even our agency, we have our crisis response unit. Even though we, we use it for the law enforcement side, we also reach out to our civilian side because we never know what we're gonna come up to. And all I ask is that we learn to be humble and learn to be patient. We invite the general public to come out and hunt with us. Um, we do public land, so there is no charge. Um, and then we do do, we sponsor hunts for veterans um, and first responders throughout the year, um, taking them on stick of hunts or, you know, paid hunts, guided hunts throughout the Delmarva area. You can find us on Facebook, Sons Boat Hunters under groups. Um, we have a page there too. Um, you can you can reach out to me personally at sons of hunters at gmail.com. You can reach out to me with my phone number 410-603-0581. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Delmarva based veteran outreach programs will always have a special place on this show. We salute all of you who go above and beyond for all of them who went above and beyond. Coming up after the break. We'll head back to Scorchy's Corner to meet a felted rope maker. Outdoors de Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. We'll be right back. You're watching Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Sponsored by Shorts Marine. Welcome back to Outdoors Delmarva. My name is Jason Lee and joining me is Let's Go Delmarva's Lauren Hitch. The love for Delmarva's outdoors is the thread that pulls us all together, the tie that binds. Or in the case of this week's Remembering Scorchy Taws, the rope that holds. Honoring the life and legacy of Scorchy Taws. Thanks to Shorts Marine in Long Neck, Delaware. Shorts Marine, everything but the water. Alrighty. When anyone hollers rope man within earshot of Felton's Jim Tarbert, they quickly get his attention. That's what people usually refer to me as, the rope man. And uh, I don't mind that. I tell them that uh, I'm probably the only one they'll ever meet. Oh, you've really got roped in, haven't you? Yeah, I'm all knotted up. I'm tied in my work. <laughs> as you have surely guessed by now, Jim Tarbert sells rope. But unlike most rope vendors, has one of Delmarva's more unique enterprises, capped by his portable trailer, the Rope Locker. I can take the, the rope to the people. I try to go to places where there are boaters, and uh, sometimes I sell to farmers that have need for large rope. Ah, but there's more to Jim Tarbert than just selling the rope. I call myself a professional splicer, and uh, I'm very jealous about my work. I do good work. I know I do it right because I've seen how it can be done and I've, I've seen people that don't know what they're doing try to do it, but 
When I do it, it's going to be the way it's supposed to be, and I guarantee my work. I like to go to their boat and do work for them. I just go right to their location, and they say, now here's the boat, and redo all the lines. And that's what I really prefer to do, because I think that's some of my best work. And best work requires sharp tools. When uh, you take a look at a piece of rope like this, the breaking strength is 10,000 pounds on this. When I take a pair of scissors and cut it through just like that, people think my rope is cheap. It's not that my rope is cheap, it's that my scissors are sharp. Then there's his super sharp knife, honed to perfection by knife maker Gerald Willie of Greenwood. What size rope are you gonna cut with that? That's inch and a half nylon. Let's see what it'll do. All right, just put it on there, go forward, and there you are. Yes, Jim Tarbert of Felton may be just one of a kind on Delmarva, a professional rope splicer. I love doing this. I'm very fond of this. I think I like meeting the people and showing them how to do it as much as I do anything. I'd like for more people to get into this uh, because I think it's just a, a dying art. Well, you don't plan on retiring anytime soon, I'm sure. I don't think I'll ever retire. I'll probably work until I drop because I just like what I'm doing, and if you like what you're doing, why retire from it? Scorchy Dawes, wandering our Del Marvelous Land for WBOC News. Remembering Scorchy Taws is presented by Shorts Marine, online at shortsmarine.com. Did you know that there's a show dedicated to the beautiful homes and locations on Delmarva? Did you know that Lauren Hitch is the host of that show? That's right, Jason. Draper Media recently launched a new series called Let's Go Delmarva. And the series is about working with local real estate agents to show off beautiful farmhouses to million dollar homes at the beach and everything in between. And you can see full home tours at letsgodelmarva.com. Now you do. Did You Know is sponsored by North Bay Marina. Outdoors Del Marva will be right back. You're watching Outdoors Del Marva presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Welcome back to Outdoors Del Marva. My name is Jason Lee, and joining me this week is host of Let's Go Del Marva, Lauren Hitch. Jason, you had a pretty good time up there at the Delaware State Fairgrounds a couple weekends ago. I sure did, and I wasn't the only one who had a blast at the inaugural DSN Outdoors Expo. Here with all the great cars, man. That Absolutely. looks good. Absolutely, having a great day out here. Got a lot of people out walking around, talking with a lot of people. Uh, beautiful day. And you're getting uh, this is kind of like a precursor to the big, uh, big car show you guys got coming up. Absolutely, our show is on June 16th and 17th on Friday and Saturday. It's a two-day show. Uh, have a lot of things going on: cars, displays, entertainment, vendors. Uh, a lot going on. All right, so we've wandered our way into the Kent Pavilion just in time for some 1CW wrestling behind me. Uh, they keep asking me if I'm going to go inside the ring, but I think I'm going to leave that to the professionals today. Jack, it is a beautiful day here at the Expo. Oh, it's beautiful weather out. We've got a nice little breeze here, no humidity, so it's perfect weather for walking around, checking out all the festivities that we have here. And you've got a lot of people stopping by to see you. Yeah, we've been extremely busy. We're right here at the entrance as soon as you walk in. We have street legal golf carts, or what's called LSVs, low-speed vehicles. Um, these can be driven on the roads, 40 mile an hour and under. You can drive these on the street. 
They get a seven year tag just as a car does. You tag, title it, register it, and in short, just like a car. Um, and they're pretty nice, all aluminum frames, aluminum wheels. You don't have to worry about rusting if you're close to the beach. And uh, they're your premium street legal golf cart. We're Smith's Handyman Services. We're out of Laurel, Delaware. We do a little bit of anything and everything that you might need around the house. We also have tractor services that we've started over the last couple years. We're doing grading, we're doing leveling. We'll fill in those swampy areas and turn them back into solid ground again for you. But my husband uh, does all the work himself. He's five-star reviews and he's very reasonable. All right, we've managed to make our way inside the Dover building and it's just as busy in here as it was in the Kent building and out into the gravel lot. Uh, just so many things to see and do. We're going to take you for a quick tour around the, uh, around the Dover building, but yeah, it's a great day here in Harrington. DSN Outdoors Expo seems to be a big success. It is. We've got a lot of people coming through. It's a great day for it. And a lot of folks don't realize that, you know, your, your outdoors starts as soon as you walk outside that front door. It does. The exterior of your home, that's outdoors. Um, we do it all. We can't wait for next year's DSN Outdoors Expo. And as soon as we lock in a date, We'll let you know so that you can mark it on your calendar. Coming up after the break, we're going to check out your latest photos. You're watching Outdoors Delmarva presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Welcome back to Outdoors Delmarva. It's time to flip through the photo album and take a look at your latest pictures. Thanks to our friends at North Bay Marina. Five-year-old Connor Hargis of Snow Hill stands proudly with his first turkey he got on Youth Day. 16-year-old Gary Lewis III of Willards and 15-year-old Jacob Ruark of Salisbury show off the prize-winning turkeys they harvested on Youth Day. Lacey Moffat of Georgetown got her first turkey. It weighed in at 20 pounds 4 ounces, sported an 11-inch beard and 1-inch spurs. Tim Hamilton, who you might remember from the youth rabbit hunt segment back in early March, was perch fishing, but managed to catch and release this monster striped bass. Rob Mastin sent in a picture of a new Milford PD recruit. I heard the goose was trying to land the job of new squad car siren, but I do have it on good authority that he's now heading up the foul crimes unit. And Stephanie Montrose sent in a couple of photos of a killdeer family she saw at a campground in Berlin. Outdoors Delmarva viewer pictures are sponsored by North Bay Marina. Well, that's going to do it for us this week. Keep sending in those pictures by emailing outdoors at WBOC.com. Now, before we let you go, we wanted to remind you that you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even TikTok by opening up your phone's camera and pointing it at your screen. This QR code gives you all of our social media links, plus the website, email, and YouTube page. Thank you so very much for watching, and Lauren, thank you very much for joining us this week. Thank you so much for having me, Jason. And remember, you can watch more fun home tours at letsgodelmarva.com. Now, any way that I could possibly persuade you to join us again next weekend? Mm, I think there's a really good chance of that. Well, there you go. So until we see you again, right back here next weekend, for Let's Go Delmarva's Lauren Hitch, my name is Jason Lee, and we hope to see you outdoors, Delmarva. You've been watching Outdoors Delmarva, which is presented by Gateway Subaru, higher standards, and sponsored by Shorts Marine, everything but the water.